Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to give you the basics of rational expressions so that you'll be able to do the four pages in the worksheet on rational expressions, non-permissible values, and simplest form, which is the first uh, two pages, and also simplifying rational expressions, which will be the next worksheet. Um, stay away for now from solving equations with rational expressions. <clears throat> okay, so what is a rational expression? Uh, basically, it's the quotient of two polynomials. So it can be anything from simply two-thirds. Each of those is a polynomial. It could be 2x over 3x squared, again polynomials. And it could be uh, 4x squared minus 6xy plus 2y squared over... 3x squared plus 7xy minus y squared. All of those are rational expressions. <clears throat> now, we're interested in non-permissible values. In other words, let's say we have a rational expression like uh, 4x over x minus 3. Well, we can evaluate this expression for any value of x except for the value of x that will make the denominator equal to 0. So what happens? When x is 3, we get a 12 up top, we get 0 on the bottom. That would lead us to dividing by 0, which is undefined. So what do we want to do? What we want to do is say what value of x will cause the denominator to be 0, and then we state that as a non-permissible value. So in an expression such as this, you would say what value of x makes this equal to 0, well, when x is 3, so we say the non-permissible value, sometimes abbreviated NPV, is such that x cannot equal 3. In other words, I can evaluate this expression for any value of x unless x is equal to 3. Uh, do another couple, just, uh, just for the heck of it, 5x over 3x minus 1. Okay, so what do we do? We say, well, I need to know what value of x will make 3x minus 1 0, which means 3x is 1 and x is 1 third. So x cannot be 1 third. That's the non-permissible value. Do one more like that. I'm going to show you an easy way to get the value. So you can just do it by inspection. So let's try uh, 3x over 5x plus 2. And so the question is, what value of x will make 5x plus 2 equal to 0? So if you think about it, uh, if we work it out, well, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. First of all, the value is negative 2 fifths, right? It's going to have the opposite sign of this, and it's going to have your constant term divided by your x coefficient. Okay, why is that? 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. 5x is equal to negative 2. So we've got the opposite term and the 2. And then we have to divide by 5. So fast way, constant value. So, sorry, opposite sign, constant value divided by the x value. And the non-permissible value then is x cannot be equal to negative 2 fifths. Right, it would cause that to evaluate to zero. Okay, we could also end up with an expression, say something like 3x over 3x minus 2x plus 1. This is in a factored form right down here, so factoring is going to come into this. And we know, and again, I'm just going to do this by inspection, that x cannot equal negative 1. And x cannot equal, opposite sign is going to be positive 2 over 3. So positive 2 thirds. So there are two values of x that would cause this expression to be undefined. x can be 0. 0 is fine. That would give you a 0 up top. And on the bottom, you'd have negative 2 times 1, which would be negative 2. And 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. So we can divide into 0, but we can't divide by 0. Okay, uh, let's move forward. This uh, next bit will cover the simplifying rational expressions. And again, this involves factoring. So 
all the factoring you've been doing is now coming into play, not as an end in itself, but as a tool. So let's do a couple of these uh, just to get you on the way, and then you'll be able to do the worksheet and the textbook. Here we are, let's factor this. Now, in order to do this, I need to, and I'm gonna do this the easy way, what I consider to be the easy way, which is I'm gonna factor either the top or the bottom, and then I'm gonna sort of, what I call fake factor, the other uh, expression. So let's start with the top. Let's say that it's x minus four times x plus three. Now, anytime I factor, I always check, right? So x squared plus 3x minus 4x gives me minus 1x minus 12. So that's factored correctly. Now the thing with simplifying expressions is pretty much if we're doing this, we know that one of these expressions is going to cancel top and bottom. So can I have a factor of x plus 3 for this? And the answer is no, not if it's going to multiply to 8. So that means that x must 4 x must 4, x minus 4 must be my common factor that's going to end up cancelling. And if it is, how do I get a plus 8? x minus 2. Okay, let's check this, right? We get x squared minus 2x minus 4x is minus 6x plus 8. We have the common binomial factor. So our first step is to factor all the expressions completely, right? Top and bottom. Next, let's state the non-permissible values. x cannot be 2 or 4, right? Putting a 2 or a 4 in would cause this bottom expression to evaluate to 0. We can't divide by 0. Next, let's cancel the common factors and simplify. And here is our simplified expression of x plus 3 over x minus 2 with non-permissible values of 2 and 4. Okay, and you know, again, I'm just trying to make the factoring uh, easier with these. So let's do one more, keeping in mind what do we have to do. Factor the expressions, looking for a common factor. State the non-permissible values, but that must be done from the factored form. Okay, you cannot do it from the simplified form or you'll miss out on one of the non-permissible values. Okay, so one more, and then you should be set up and able to uh, do the worksheet, so work through the worksheet first, and then the textbook work, okay? And there's four pages of worksheet, so there's plenty to keep you busy, as well as some textbook questions. Okay, here's the expression, rational expression, right? Two polynomials, one over the other, that we want to simplify, and part of that process is finding non-permissible values. So first, I'm gonna choose one of these to factor, and I'm choosing the top, because I know that if it factors, that this will be the form of the factorization. Uh, there will be a 2x and an x. Now to get a 15, I'm guessing 5 and 3. 2 times 5 will give me 10. So I'm going to go with minus 5 to get negative 10 and plus 3. So 2x squared minus 10x plus 3x is minus 7x minus 15. Now, to help me out here, uh, this could be a 6x, um, or uh, the leading fact could be a 6x and an x. It could be a 2x and a 3x. Uh, and in the back, I've got a 3. Well, I know that x minus 5 cannot be a factor of this, okay? Because then we'd end up with some multiple of 5 out here. So if this factors, and I'm pretty sure it does, then one of the factors must be 2x plus 3 in order to get cancellation. So how do we get 6x squared? Well, 2x times 3x. How do we get minus 3? I have a plus 1. Let's throw in a minus 1. Now, I have not in any way, shape, or form factored this. I've simply said if it's going to factor, then one of the factors has to be this if there's going to be cancellation, and this is what the factorization should be but let's verify it, right? And again, we always foil it out. 6x squared minus 2x plus 9x is plus 7x minus 3. So factorization is correct. At this point, let's throw in a, that's a comma. Let's throw in a comma, let's put in the value. So x cannot be, okay? What's the quick way of doing this? Opposite sign, negative 3 over 2. So come x 
cannot equal, right, non-permissible values, negative 3 over 2, and from here, opposite sign, 1, so positive 1 over 3, comma, 1 over 3. At this point, we can now cancel these guys, common factors, and we are left with x minus 5 over 3x minus 1. And I didn't actually really need brackets on that, I guess. Okay. Well, let's clean that up a bit. Take those off. Since they're single, you know, they're expressions and there's nothing being multiplied, then I can leave my answer in this form. And that's the form that we're going to go with. This is a simplified form. And this is a, basically a fairly short video just to give you the tools. And take those tools, start off, do the worksheets first. Okay, I'll, we'll post the answers up. Uh, they're actually already on um, online, the answers to these four worksheets. You're doing basically the first four pages of the booklet, as well as some textbook questions.